There are four techniques that can be used to conduct area adjustment fires. Successive bracketing is best when observers are inexperienced or when precise adjustment is required, such as precision registrations and destruction missions. It mathematically ensures that fire for effect rounds will be within 50 meters of the target. Hasty bracketing is best when responsive fires are required and the observer is experienced in the adjustment of fire. One round adjustment provides the most responsive fires, but generally requires either an experienced observer or an observer equipped with a laser rangefinder. Creeping fire is used in danger close missions. This video will focus on successive bracketing. After the first definite range spotting is determined, the observer should send a range correction to the fire direction center to establish a range bracket of known distance, one round over and one round short. Once the bracket has been established, the observer successively splits the bracket until he is assured the rounds will be within 50 meters of the adjusting point when he fires for effect. Normally, range changes of 100, 200, 400, or 800 meters are used to make splitting the bracket easier. The observer enters fire for effect when he is sure of rounds impacting within 50 meters of the adjusting point. The first round impacts over the adjusting point. The observer should send a drop correction enough to place the next round short of the adjusting point. The observer sends drop 400 after observing his first round. The next round impacts short of the adjusting point. The observer has now established a range bracket. He has had one round over and one round short of the adjusting point, separated by 400 meters. Using the successive bracketing technique, the observer sends add 200. The third round impacts over the adjusting point. The observer has a 200 meter bracket because round two impacted short of the adjusting point and the distance between the two rounds was 200 meters. Splitting the bracket, the observer sends drop 100. The fourth round impacts short. The observer has established a 100 meter bracket. He now sends add 50 fire for effect. The center of impact for the fire for effect rounds is now mathematically certain of being within 50 meters of the adjusting point. An experienced observer can use a smaller initial bracket. This eliminates rounds and speeds up the process. Though field artillery initial training starts out with an 800 meter initial bracket, most artillery observers can cut that to a 200 meter initial bracket as they increase their proficiency. It can take a lot of practice to calibrate your Mark I eyeballs to determine the initial distance from the target and begin successive bracketing. Use the following examples to determine the distance from the burst to the target. After each burst, the actual distance will be displayed. The doctrinal technique to determine if a round landed long or short is to put the horizontal line of the reticle at the base of the target. If the round lands above that line, it is certainly over. If the round lands below that line, it is short. This technique requires quick marking of the initial burst before the dust kicked up by the round obscures or distorts the mark, but with practice is very reliable. Successive bracketing certainly takes the longest of the four techniques, but it ensures that your rounds will be within 50 meters of the target every single time. As you gain experience, 
you will become more proficient and quicker at putting steel on target.